So when we talk about the V11 air suspension cups, should I use the ones that comes with my Emotion V11 or should I remove them and use just that cover that you can use on the chamber of your tire? I'm going to give you my honest opinion about this and you'll be able to decide what to do and also to have an idea how much Emotion care about our opinion. So if you want to know everything, stay tuned until the end of the video. So the wheel that I have here is a V11 first batch. I didn't receive to with the caps that Marty is talking about. I received the second generation of cups. These cups, they was already better than the ones that he received in that time. On these ones, he continued to screw on the, the valve, but on the sides, you have this metal part. But what happened is, obviously, on the inside, you will have the metal that is going to avoid that the pressure goes straight to the valve. But anyway, the big, big problem that I found with these cups is that they was really, really easy to lose. And I lost one of them so since I lost one of them I removed this one and I was waiting to receive the new cups overall it was already a much better design than the one that you could see on Marty that was just screwed on the valve and nothing more than that because when we look to the valves they come out slightly from all all this metal bit and they are really really close to the floor obviously that design was not the best this was already better but because they could get loose and get lost it was also not the best design but i have just to say that when marty said that you should remove that and just put some tape on the top it makes zero sense because he was concerned that the rock could go on these valves they are in metal and damaging the valve but just a bit of tape on top of the valve was not a problem because a rock could go there the the, the tape is not going to solve anything so but anyway this was just a thought that I needed to put out that he was making zero sense what he said on that video. Nothing against Marty, I love him and I love his videos, but in that specific moment, he was making zero sense. In that case, I think it was much better to use just the, the cups that you use for your tire because obviously it's going to be there and is a an extra layer that is on that valve. But anyway, let's go forward. And here is the new design. And if you put side by side with the previous one, they are much, much smaller. And the big difference is this one was screwed on the outside and this one is screwed on the inside. So in the end of the day, it's almost impossible that something is going to hit the valve. Besides obviously some stones that they can hit from the bottom, but I don't think that they are going to damage anything. Besides that, if something hits here, it's going to put some pressure on on the walls on the inside chamber of your suspension. The risk to damage your valve is basically gone with this new design. Definitely a much better solution, but he had maybe a con. To be so flat and so close to, to the end of the suspension, they could make this release mechanism thicker. So sometimes if you have thick, thick fingers, it can be difficult to take it out. In the end of the day also, something that Marty said that you don't have to be concerned about uh, other things that you should protect on your suspension. I disagree with him once again, because in the end of the day, yes, I'm going to show you some image. When you see, when you take uh, the cup, you can see that you have the valve and after you have a metal part, but obviously the valve is in the middle. So dust could go on the inside of your suspension. So everything that could avoid that some dust and water goes in, I think is a must for that reason. Even if you could use these cups, that is how I used the past, okay, before I received these new ones, I believe that this is not the solution. Obviously, if you use, it's better than using nothing, but also when you are using this, this stand out much, much more. So it's much, much easier that the stone goes there and it can force your um, valve. So I think that the new solution that Emotion have found with these new cups are much, much better. Let me know in the comments below what is your opinion. And by the way, if you are still seeing this video, I recommend you to have a look on the new Emotion watch that I have already done my first impressions about this watch. And if you have any questions for me, please leave in the comments below. My name is Marco, this is Matt Peck. If it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you in the next one.